Thông trình quỷ Please be seated The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber will hear responses to three requests pursuant to rules 87.4 with regards to the testimony of two TCE 82. And after that, we begin hearing testimony of a witness that is to TCE W 1002. And Mr. Amhoy, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, le greffe, Monsieur le Président, all parties to this case are present. Toutes les parties au procès sont présentes. Except Kevin Solder, who is Sauf absent Kevin due Sonder, to traffic congestion, qui est absent he will be a little bit late this morning. Des problèmes de circulation. And Councillor Pekong is also absent. Il sera un peu en retard. Maître Pekong est également absent. Monsieur le Président, il est présent dans la salle d'attente. Il est absent. 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 Le document de renonciation a été remis au greffier. Le témoin qui dépose aujourd'hui, à savoir de TCW 1002, confirme à sa connaissance qu'elle n'a aucun lien de parenté par le sang par alliance avec aucun des accusés, non tchèque que son pont, ni avec l'une quelconque des parties civiles en l'espèce. The witness took an oath before the Iron Cross statue this morning. Le témoin a prêté ce matin devant la statue à la barre de fer de fer et est prêt à comparaître devant la chambre. Je vous remercie, le président. Merci, Monsieur Emroy. La chambre va prendre son statut sur la requête de Nunchier. La chambre est saisie d'un document de renonciation de Nunchier en date du 5 septembre 2016. Il indique qu'en raison de son état de santé, maux de dos, maux de tête et tourdissement, il a du mal à rester longtemps. Il doit se concentrer. Ainsi, pour assurer sa participation effective aux futures audiences, il renonce à son droit d'être physiquement présent dans le prétoire pour l'audience du 5 septembre 2016. Il a indiqué avoir du moins été informé par ses avocats que cette renonciation ne saurait être interprétée comme une renonciation à son droit à un procès équitable ni à son droit de remettre en cause tout élément de preuve versé au débat ou produit devant la Chambre à quelque stade que ce soit. La Chambre a également saisi un rapport du médecin traitant de CETC, médecin de Nuncia, Which notes that the report dated the 5 September 2016. Nunti has a when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECC Internal Rules, the Chamber grants Nunti his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs by an audiovisual means. Par moyen audiovisuel. The Chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to lead the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow. That applies for the whole day. That applies for the whole day. Toute la journée. And before we proceed to hear a testimony of witness to TCW 1002, the Chamber wishes to hear oral responses from parties to the three requests made pursuant to Rule Internal Rule 87.4 relating to the testimony of True TCE 82 on the 31st of August. The court requests to Admit into evidence through documents made by experts through TCE 82. E 3-1 plus 1. The first is the study made by through TCE 82. Le premier document est une étude. 
élaborée par deux TCE 82. Regarding the gender uh, violation during the democratic Concernant les violences sexistes, le premier sociopathique au mariage uh, sur le régime des documents sont disponibles uh, Ian, in English, sur Zaylab, URL en anglais, 2766. And the other one to uh, 93. On the same day, Kios and Pons defense also submitted a pursuant to Rule 874 to admit into evidence a biography of expert to TCE 82, as well as the five separate documents that it wish to use. During the uh, testimony of uh, expert through TCE 82, that is document E3 3 1 slash 2, Nunchi Defense also submitted pursuant to Internet Rule 874 and uh, Rule 93 in relation to the expert on the same day. That is document E331-3. Concernant le témoin expert de TCE 82, will I to use two la documents and to admit them into document. One is the work uh, history of the expert, and the second uh, document de is his report on false marriage in Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone. and was authored by Zeynep Banzola and Christina. Since two TCE 82 will appear uh, shortly, the Chamber wishes to hear oral responses from parties on the admissibility, admissibility of these documents. And first, I'd like to hand the floor to the co prosecutors to respond to these requests. Do you have the floor? La requête de Nunchia a porté la côte E431-3. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Honourable Juge. In relation to the QSAM PANS request to admit six documents, the prosecutor has no objections to those documents being admitted. And we believe they are relevant and at least in a contextual sense. We believe that these documents are pertinent. In relation to pour pointer le contexte. En ce qui concerne la requête de Nunchia, devoir déclarer le recevable de documents, le CV de l'expert et l'article sur les mariages forcés en Sierra Leone. Gardant l'esprit le fait que la défense aimerait interroger le témoin sur les arguments qui ressortent de ce rapport, nous n'avons pas d'objection à sa recevabilité. Passons peut-être à la requête formulée en vertu de la règle 93 par Nunchia. En général, nous faisons objection à de telles requêtes à l'obtention des documents sous-jacents lié au rapport d'expertise. La principale raison est parce que la demande a été formulée hors délai. Elle est extrêmement tardive. Deuxièmement, il est impossible de faire droit à cette requête à un moment où la défense a demandé à ce que ces documents soient fournis à la Chambre. These documents underlying the research are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the requests to this expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The first point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The second point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's testimony. The second point is that the documents are not required to be tenued as a general legal principle in relation to the expert's
et il demande 600 autres entretiens menés par des étudiants de l'université relativement à la violence sexiste et sexuelle sous le Cambodge démocratique et également les mariages forcés. Les violences sexuelles dans le cadre du, du mariage forcé. La défense demande l'obtention de 2200 entretiens, dont la plupart sont probablement en Khmer. Cette demande a été formulée mercredi dernier, 31 août. L'espère doit comparaître le 13 septembre. Donc, ces 2200 documents devraient être produits devant la Chambre au plus tard, sept jours avant la comparution de l'espère, et c'est demain. Nous faisons valoir que cette requête est extrêmement tardive. Et il est clair, il y a cinq ans, que le procureur mettait ce rapport sur sa liste des documents à déclarer recevables. Depuis 2014, il est clair que le procureur et les co-avocats principaux pour les parties civiles demandaient la comparution de cet espère devant la Chambre. Il était clair depuis le 3 juin cette année, depuis que le juriste hors classe de la Chambre a envoyé un email détaillant les témoins espères devant comparaître dans le cadre de ce segment sur la réglementation de mariage il y a trois mois. L'une des personnes devant comparaître était donc l'espère visée. Le 21 août, la Chambre a rendu une décision sans laquelle cette personne serait désignée comme espère. Vu toutes ces notifications, la demande de production de 2200 documents apparaît 13 jours avant la déposition de l'espère. Et la défense, or, il faudrait que ces documents soient fournis au plus tard sept jours avant la déposition de l'espère. Nous faisons donc valoir que cette requête est extrêmement tardive pour certaines raisons. La première étant que sur ces 2200 personnes, chacune devra être interrogée ou il faudrait prendre en compte l'information. Il faudrait savoir si ces personnes consentiraient à ce que ces informations soient communiquées à la Chambre de première instance gardant à l'esprit le fait que ces informations ont trait aux violences sexuelles, ce qui est un sujet personnel et sensible pour la plupart de ces personnes interrogées. Ainsi, d'une manière ou d'une autre, l'espère devra résoudre ce problème de confidentialité et examiner si, oui ou non, ces documents devraient être fournis si une clause de confidentialité était attachée lors de l'entretien de ces témoins en 2006. Deuxièmement, si malgré la confidentialité, cette information peut être fournie à la Chambre, cette information serait probablement caviardée. Et s'il faut caviarder 2200 entretiens pour enlever des informations susceptibles d'identifier des personnes ou le témoin, si cela pose une préoccupation pour l'experte, cela prendra énormément de temps. Troisièmement, Étant donné que la plupart des informations seraient en clair pour examiner ces pièces et en déterminer la pertinence pour la déposition de l'expert, cela peut également 
être abordé lors du contre-interrogatoire. Well Il faudra beaucoup de temps so, en termes de traduction object, des résumés. Uh, this, uh, Nous faisons donc objection à cette requête au motif qu'elle est tardive, extrêmement tardive. Elle aurait dû intervenir um, beaucoup plus tôt et ces questions posées à la Chambre. Um, They're wanting all of this done within five days, de plus, which is tomorrow. ils voudraient que tout cela soit fait so en cinq jours, à savoir demain, et est, uh, il est impossible so, de faire droit à cette uh, requête. The, the is to moot. Et cette requête And then, thirdly, commence à the, devenir sans objet. In terms of more Troisièmement, of a substantive issue, pour ce qui est des questions de fond, la défense a soulevé international jurisprudence at other tribunals require that la question de la jurisprudence internationale. La majorité des tribunaux demandent que les sources qui sous-tendent le rapport d'expertise soient fournies aux parties. Et cela peut être vrai pour les rapports d'expertise produits à l'attention de la Chambre pour traiter d'un problème posé devant la Chambre, mais pour les articles et les ouvrages produits rétroactivement bien avant l'ouverture des débats, il n'est pas nécessaire. Il n'y a pas de fournir toute source sous-jacente qui a été utilisée pour former la base de l'élaboration de ce livre ou de cet article. La raison en est que cela pourra entraver la procédure. Imaginons que pour chaque livre, pour chaque article placé sur versé au dossier, il faille fournir les documents sous-jacents. Cela serait impossible. Pour ce qui est du poids à accorder à ces éléments, les articles rédigés par l'expert et ses ouvrages peuvent être examinés dans le cadre du compte interrogatoire. On peut demander à l'expert ses sources, les méthodes utilisées et pour fonder son opinion. Et si l'on trouve qu'il y a des manquements, et pour former um, une opinion crédible, la Chambre that, peut um, demander cela dans uh, ce processus. Uh, L'avis um, des experts devrait être uh, examiné pour établir sa so, crédibilité au même titre que n'importe quel témoin. Um, maybe que one la Chambre exception, a décidé. Um, to this Il y a peut-être be, une exception à mon objection. Um, that the c'est que les extraits précis ou les sources précises évoquées dans l'ouvrage de l'expert, il s'agit d'un ouvrage de 40 à 50 pages, que les extraits spécifiques qui ont trait au chapitre 3 sur les mariages forcés et la violence sexuelle dans le cadre du mariage forcé, Has no objection to, uh, perhaps those interviews, um, le procureur ne fait pas objection à ces extraits spécifiques, par exemple des entretiens, and, uh, there is no name desquels ont été extraits the, um, ces passages spécifiques, des extraits qui ne portent pas no d'identification du témoin ou de, uh, de, son, de sa provenance. Uh, Nous ne faisons pas objection expert, à la um, mise à disposition de ces extraits sous réserve que l'expert parle aux personnes qui ont fourni ces entretiens. Il ressort de l'ouvrage qu'il s'agit de 40 personnes. Nous n'avons pas de problème dès lors que les questions de confidentialité sont réglées. Cela peut être fait peu de temps avant la déposition de l'expert ou après. Nous n'avons pas d'objection à ce niveau. Nous ne faisons pas non plus objection aux extraits ou aux entretiens d'où ont été tirés ces extraits qui ont été placés dans l'autre rapport de Mme Toy Cronen, document E3-3416. Barre 
has a report, a short report on Elle a également uh, élaboré un petit rapport and sur la violence sexuelle sous le Kampucha démocratique et elle a une petite section sur les mariages forcés et la violence sexuelle dans le cadre du mariage forcé. Dans ces passages, elle cite des extraits de ces déclarations. 14 ces extraits proviennent de déclarations de 14 personnes interviewées. Nous n'avons pas d'objection pour des extraits précis dans des passages particuliers tirés de ces deux documents. Il faudrait garder à l'esprit que les documents relatifs à la violence sexuelle sous le Kampucha démocratique sont assez généraux. Et la violence sexuelle dans le cadre des mariages forcés représente 10 à 15 de ce rapport. Pour fournir tous les documents et les entretiens tirés de 2200 documents, il faudrait avoir une méthodologie à cause de la force mariage et de la violence sexuelle. The expert has been called to testify. Et cela est moins pertinent par rapport so, honors, aux violences um, sexuelles dans le cadre du, um, du mariage forcé qui feront l'objet de la déposition de l'experte. Voilà les objections que j'avais ce matin et je me tiens à la disposition de la Chambre et des partis pour toutes questions. Thank you, co le Président, And like to the merci pour l'accusation. Je vais passer la parole aux co-avocats principaux pour les partis civils pour répondre à ces arguments. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Bonjour President. à tous. Good morning, everyone. Nous souhaitions nous en rapporter à l'appréciation de la Chambre sur ces différentes We will to the of the chamber Dans tout on état de cause, nous avons des observations du bureau des procureurs ce matin. Given the comments of the nous souhaiterions que this morning, la date d'audition de l'experte dont nous parlons depuis ce matin soit maintenue for the et que son audition ne soit pas décalée and that au regard des différentes the hearing requêtes qui ont été faites par la défense de la position que vient given the request of the defense and the comments made by the co-prosecutors this morning on the substance of these requests sur le fondement de 87.4 ou de la règle 93 nous nous en rapportons à l'appréciation du tribunal they are based on 87.4 or 83 of the internal rules we defer to the wisdom of the chamber thank you Thank you, Lydia for civil party. Merci, Madame la co-avocate principale pour like le parti civil. Je vais à présent passer la parole à l'équipe de défense de Nunchir pour répondre à ces observations Thank orales. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning. Merci, Good morning, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, 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 Honorable Juge, chers confrères. I'm going to first parties, deal with toi. the prosecution's uh, Rule 87 request and then address the comments that the prosecution has made. With respect to Commencer par la requête en 87.4 du procureur avant de répondre à ces observations qui passent à notre requête en 87.4 et en 93. Pour l'accusation, nous pensons que les documents qu'ils demandent sont pertinents dans le cadre qu'ils ont trait which, uh, the chamber recently clarified in your accusation de E3 la chambre. So we're talking about the regulation of marriage and the charge of rape within the conduct. So to that end, we would say that only aspects of the documents that are directly relating to the charges should be admitted. From what we've seen, as regards the first document, which is on gender-based violence against minorities during the DK, we think that the Chamber should admit pages 41 to 50 on forced marriage and chapters 2 to 3 on methodology. For the second document, pour le deuxième document, le relevant chapitre est le chapitre 1 sur le mariage, 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 le chapitre d'interroger les témoins sur des questions qui sortent du champ de notre thèse. Nous aurons besoin de davantage de temps pour préparer l'interrogatoire et nos réponses. Donc, soit il nous faut suffisamment de temps pour nous préparer, 
recalling the expert witness at some later point. And perhaps what we would suggest in this case is that we would split up her testimony, which is 1.5 days at the moment, across perhaps two days, maybe one day next week and then half a day at a later point in time. So those are our responses, and as far as the prosecution's Rule 87 is concerned. Uh, now, with regards to our own Rule 87, and more particularly our Rule 93 request, uh, the starting point of the discussion, we think, has to be that the material we are requesting, in our view, forms the basis of this expert's expertise. Um, I'm just going to refer you briefly to paragraph 23 of our request, where we discuss this. As we Said, we do not have any access to any of the sources or underlying information of the two reports which constitute the core of the, of the work and expertise of this expert. As we said, the international jurisprudence that states that experts must provide sufficient information as to the methodology used and the sources upon which they make their statements. Sur what we're faced with at the moment, as we've already said in that, uh, in that written motion, is that we're faced with two reports contained containing incriminating information, reports qui quotes from anonymous individuals, des without having access to the underlying information, the, identi the identity of the individuals, qui or their geographic location at the time, and without the context in which the facts were allegedly reported to place. The result is, at the end of the day, that Mr. Nunchier was effectively prevented from accessing from exercising his right to cross-examine and challenge the evidence since he's deprived of the most elementary information to do so. In effect, without the sources that we're asking for, we're essentially relying on the account of an individual who is not there at the time and who is relaying accounts of others and then reaching far-reaching conclusions on the basis of those accounts. Now, just in response to some of the points raised by prosecutors, uh, with respect to timeliness, we were respecting the deadline that was provided by the trial chamber. In terms of the practicalities of fulfilling the request, we simply don't know if it's impossible. Uh, that's for the expert to tell us, we think. And, uh, paragraph 25 of our motion, which is redacted, provides more specifics, but in generality, suffice it to say that it appears that the expert is able to provide information quickly when asked to do so. Now, nous dit que uh, devrait also given that the information is surely compiled and digested for the expert in order to have reduced them into these publications, we suspect that perhaps it is quite accessible. We also note that, les from sont our understanding, much of the information is already available in English. And with respect to the 1,500 documents, we understand that they're not interviews as such, but surveys. So that information may also be a little more easily digestible. In terms of why we're asking for that information, I've given you the general idea. But just to point out some more specifics as well, these appear in paragraphs 20 and 21 of our As we've said, um, it appears that the two studies that are admitted into evidence are relying on two types of sources. One is the interview of about 100 persons out of 1,500 people who were initially surveyed. And then it seems that these 100 people provided personal stories about their experiences as gender-based violence during the decade. Uh, there's also, separately, in the report that was written by Bridget Toy Cronin, it also appears that that is based on the accounts of 100 survivors of the DK who are identified through this same survey. We don't understand if that's the same 100 or a different 100, and in any case, we don't really have that underlying information. But it seems to us that this would be useful not only in terms of getting more detail of those, of those interviews initially conducted, but to understand better the survey methodology, to understand how they were selected, whether they were fairly selected, and what that looked like in terms of a broad sample as well. So it's about the second point is we note that there's a reliance on about 600 interviews which were conducted by approximately 200 students at Panya Sastri University regarding gender-based violence during the DK. And that, those 600 interviews, appear to have been absorbed into the document, which is E3-2959. Again, 
methodology issues Le come up, uh, again, like it would be interesting to compare what's in those documents, to compare how the 600 were chosen, and so on. Uh, 200 students, I think, is a lot of people to be conducting these interviews, so it would be interesting to see how well the, uh, the data is quality control, and so on, and so on. Suffice it to say, we think that this evidence is very important. Now, as to whether or not the request is becoming moot, yes, we are aware that the one week would expire as of tomorrow. Now, as we said in response to the prosecution's motion, we would suggest that perhaps the solution be that we split up the expert's testimony across two periods, so we perhaps have one day next week, and then we have a half a day at some later point where we can continue these issues, the, the discussion. So perhaps what we could do is proceed on the current basis, receive, review the material, and then continue further questions at a later point in time. That would seem to cause minimum disruption to the trial chamber schedule. Thank you very much. President, thank you very much, Council for Mr. Nguyen-Jie. You may now proceed, Council for Mr. Kyo Sun Pan. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone. Première observation, ça va être en réponse à la requête des co-procureurs. Je rejoins pleinement les observations de ma confrère en ce qui concerne les parties pertinente des deux documents dont l'accusation de mon admission. En revanche, il va y avoir une petite, une petite différence en ce qui concerne ce que nous vous demandons de faire. Très clairement, nous sommes devant dans un procès où il y a des charges précises. Et pour nous, il n'y a aucune raison d'aller interroger un expert sur des points qui ne sont pas retenus dans les charges. Examining an expert on points that are not mentioned in the charges, so we'll probably ask for some additional time to talk about the charges and request that only parts relating to the regulation of marriages be admitted into evidence. And placed before the chamber, we have asked in our application that all the documents be tendered into evidence because it's not quite obvious that we can split them, but we've selected parties in respect of which we'd like to. Que comme ça que examine the expert, and I think that is je, how we would like to proceed. Uh, plus, uh, I say so all the most so with firmness, because uh, uh, when we received the list uh, of the OCP and the ERNs, the intent to use for examining the expert, uh, I noted that all of the documents uh, were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents were mentioned in the charges, and that all of the documents is against the accused. So this is the first remark I would like to make as regards the details of the relevant parts. We fully endorse the remarks of the Nunchia team. As regards the Nunchia defense application, uh, regarding de expert, elements that underpin the expert report savons, and the interviews, uh, I, qui sont I do understand nous, uh, that the experts who have appeared before this chamber and who uh, specialize in the area of social sciences, there are obviously uh, rules of confidentiality and there are things that we don't have access to. So in that regard, we will not ask the experts to violate their obligations uh, in terms of confidentiality. And since the co-prosecutors have raised the issue of timelines and the interest in disclosing the documents, let me remind the Chamber that if indeed, as the prosecutors have pointed out, the main issue will have to focus on uh, what we focus on et de la manière, in the expertise, uh, fait, the uh, approach used in the interviews choisi, and the manner uh, in which the uh, samples were chosen is something extremely important and you have to take that into account in your assessment of the evidence. So 
après la comparution uh, des experts, before uh, avoir the la possibilité d'avoir des éléments of the relatifs expert, we um, à ces entretiens, the comment ils ont été menés, où ils ont été menés, par qui ils ont été menés, ce sont des choses qui sont, que ce soit avant ou après sa comparaison, them, utiles pour l'évaluation de la valeur probante des éléments qui sont des éléments de l'expertise. Elements um, that are je, je, studied je dois dire que, by the expert. Uh, je I must comme l'a dit uh, ma consoeur, que uh, l'expert, qui je pense ne parle pas que mère, a travaillé uh, sur des documents de travail et des synthèses qui ont été faites. Donc, um, avant de dire que les choses sont impossibles, peut-être que la première étape serait uh, de demander à l'expert uh, uh, quels documents sont à, sont à sa disposition actuellement et uh, nous verrons à ce moment-là quels uh, uh, quel, uh, quelle étape euh, effectuer pour voir comment utiliser ces documents. Mais en tout état de cause, tout le monde est d'accord pour dire que la question de la valeur documents. probante et de l'évaluation so du choix, notamment des parties des entretiens qui ont été utilisés, uh, ce sont des éléments qui sont utiles à l'évaluation de l'expertise en général. Je pense que quel que soit le moment où ces documents pourront être fournis, ce sera utile. Pour l'ensemble des parties, et may be the time pour when la the défense. documents will be provided voilà will be something important stade, for the parties. Cause, that is what I would like to tell the chamber at this uh, point of time. Uh, in any case, the methodology and the manner in which the ceux qui n'ont pas été elements uh, gardés, that qui ont été écartés, c'est quelque chose qui intéresse la défense dans le cadre de l'interrogatoire qui sera mené. Retained or rejected certain documents or certain materials is something that is relevant to our examination of the expert. President, you may now proceed, Judge Lavagne. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Demande à pour la l'équipe de défense de Nunchia. To make one. Vous avez demandé que ce soit déclaré en ce moment un rapport d'expertise. The report of an expert be admitted into evidence, and that uh, report was uh, provided to the prosecutor, and it is from the Special Court for Sierra Leone, and it has to do with forced marriage as part of a conflict in Sierra Leone. Can you explain the relevance of this to forced marriages in Cambodia? Why are you ce document? requesting that this document be admitted into evidence. Thank you, Judge. Um, regarding the Sierra Leone report, first of all, we understand that the Special Court for Sierra Leone is the only international cri criminal jurisdiction to this state to consider charges of forced marriage. So, in a sense, it's sort of generally relevant. Now, the first report on which the expert worked on sexual violence within Democratic Kampuchea compares the situation within the DK to Sierra Leone, and we would like to talk about with uh, the expert uh, about this report with the expert. And the reason is that we think that this would better help us to understand the expert's position on the DK and to situate the situation in our case within the wider international jurisprudence on forced marriage, which would be useful in particular for legal submissions that we would make at the end of the case. President, you may now proceed. Counsel for Mr. Oui, je voudrais corriger un point de ce yes, que je, like euh, je dis tout à l'heure, euh, qui me semble qu'effectivement l'expert parle Khmer, it, uh, mais que dans la mesure où il y a des rapports qui ont été collectifs Khmer, et que des gens qui ont rédigé Khmer, ne parlent pas Khmer, uh, l'existence de documents en anglais, donc accessibles aux parties, uh, uh, for devrait être uh, disponible. Voilà la correction que je voulais faire à ce que j'ai dit. Les documents utilisés devraient être made available to the parties. That is the correction I wanted to make. President, you have the floor now. I will let call your first civil parties. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Une Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to make a brief remark following de la de the submissions made by our colleague of the Nuntia Defense Team regarding the decision issued by the Chamber recently relating to clarification of the scope of the trial as far as uh, rape et il de la committed at de 306 bar S21 bar 3. And it relates to the decision. Nous estimons du côté des parties civiles que cette décision a pour effet de mettre 
We, the fin civil parties, think that that decision will stall the proceedings and it opens a deadline of one month donc, for appeals. So we would like en train to de préparer inform the Chamber and parties that we are formulating an appeal of that decision before the Supreme Court, since it is a decision that we do not understand. So we are unable to explain it to the civil parties because we do not understand that decision. We have asked for a clarification of the scope of the trial. The Chamber has requested has rejected a request for recharacterization, which is not what we're asking for. And in the face of such misunderstanding, we've decided to prepare an appeal. So this is a decision, therefore, that's not definitive. Uh, and the chamber remains seized of the acts of rape at S21, Pata Chan, and Tam Kok. Insofar as the Supreme Court has not ruled on the appeal that we intend to file within a month, so we would like to reserve the right to be able to put questions to the experts on a number of uh, uh, points in that work relating to uh, rape in those security centers. I have seized the opportunity to make these remarks now in order that the chamber may be informed of our position. In, and in order to poser des questions à l'expert sur la question des viols dans les centres de sécurité, on puisse peut-être régler of rape in security centers. De manière Any plus objections could be resolved as efficiently and as expeditiously as possible. In any case, as far as the civil parties are concerned, the decision will not change as regards the scope of the trial. Accused are tried for rape at Trump Cup, Trump I Chan, and at S21. I thank you. President, uh, Council, you are uh, raising the same issue or extra ones? Vous soulevez la même question ou une autre question? Non. Je souhaiterais réagir à la dernière observation des partis civils. To the last remark made by the civil parties. You may not proceed, said the President. Très, très brièvement, euh, Monsieur le Président, Very simplement briefly, pour indiquer President, que euh, like nous prenons acte de, de la décision de, de faire appel à, de la décision euh, par euh, 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 les co-avocats des, des partis civils. Mais en tout état de cause, si, euh, si euh, il y a un appel en cours, pour l'instant, la, 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 la seule partie ayant cette position sur la saisine de la Chambre, that would have a position on the seizure of the, of the Supreme Court Chamber, the civil parties, and will have to maintain the decision of the Chamber as such. And if your decision were to be set aside by the Supreme Court Chamber, at that stage, it will always be possible to recall the experts on issues that, in principle, as regards all the parts, do not concern the scope of this trial. To avoid all objections, um, we should be open to the possibility um, that la only de la the charges relating to the decision of the Chamber will be uh, uh, considered, and at a subsequent uh, stage, if eh your decision were to set aside, the experts should be able to be recalled to voilà talk about those uh, other elements. That is what I wanted to tell the Chamber. President, I would like to close the floor for the discussion on this issue now. President, I have already informed you that you are not allowed to uh, make another observation. Ce n'était pas clair en, en, dans la traduction en français, raison the pour laquelle je me suis levé, mais je crois que clear. votre décision why de I clore am on my feet. les discussions sur But ce sujet. Mais je prends note de votre décision de clore la discussion sur ce sujet. Merci, M. le Président. President. 
I would like to close the, the discussion on the subject now because it, the pit parties have the rights to appeal, said the President. Um, Your Honor, if you want to close the discussion, that's fine. In fact, what I was, what I was just going to briefly respond to was um, the responses in relation to um, the Rule 93 request uh, by Nguyen Chia. Sur le fondement and, um, de, de l'article 93 et sur le fondement de 87.4, si vous me permettez simplement une ou deux minutes de répondre. Allez-y, dit le Président. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, just perhaps a couple of quick follow-ups from the replies um, um, from Nguyen Chia and Kyu Sampan Defence in relation to, firstly, in relation to the deadline for Rule 93 requests, um, Nguyen Chia Defence has stated that there was a deadline for Rule 93 requests on the 31st of um, August. Um, that's not correct. There was a deadline inexact. for Rule 87.4 requests, and that's putting um, evidence before the Chamber. Any request in relation Toute to uh, requ a request for additional investigations um, that did not have a deadline of that day, and for for that to be a successful process, the defence would have needed to um, engage your honours on that issue a long time earlier, and I've discussed um, the reason how that was possible. Uh, in relation to only parts of the reports by the prosecution being uh, submitted, what we would say is that Your Honours treat all of the documents on the case file and, and the ones that the defence have put forward um, as a whole, and obviously only um, admit evidence um, of those documents um, where they relate to the issues in the trial. Sometimes that, uh, that, that issues like that, uh, that may be relevant may in fact appear in sort of different pages throughout Throughout Les the, questions um, qui peuvent être pertinentes apparaissent um, à différents pages the only dans le rapport. La défense um, de Nguyen Chia dit que la seule base uh, qui, cons qui constitue l'expertise de, de ce témoin, TCE 82, c'est... Um, that's not correct. Your Le, Honours, you um, can see les that the expert has actually rapport, produced further material in relation to forced marriage and rape within forced marriage um, in reports like the ones we've submitted since that time. So it's not the only rapports. basis of our expertise. Um, secondly, um, the defence are asking for some of the statements or the, um, the locations of um, the witnesses that appear as excerpts in these two reports. We've got no objection that those questions be asked of the expert, and we've got no objections that the expert provide that information on the sources that are explicitly mentioned um, in, in her report. Qui sont explicitement mentionnés dans son Chia's rapport et que des questions sont posées à ce propos. La défense de Nguyen Chia a dit ne pas pouvoir remettre en question les éléments de preuve présentés par l'expert. C'est une question de contre-interrogatoire. Um, il s'agit d'interroger l'expert sur about, les méthodes. Il um, s'agit d'interroger um, l'expert sur les um, if la façon any dont les recherches ont été menées. Si, après le contre-interrogatoire, il reste um, des questions en suspens qui vont conduire material may be required, that's when that assessment can be made, but it certainly can't be uh, made now, particularly in the shortness of time that um, the defence have um, allowed for uh, this information to be handed over. Um, I think the, the uh, proposal of splitting up um, the witness, witness's evidence I don't think that's very workable. Um, it's on the basis of Nguyen Chia's uh, late request that, um, potentially we could get into that situation and the, the trial um, shouldn't be impeded um, by late requests and the late requests and the trial shouldn't be impeded by late requests for these types of matters. If at the end of the day, after hearing um, the expertise 
um, and the evidence of the witness, the expert after cross-examination, your honors feel par le that um, le some more information le should be provided, Madame, well then we're in your honors hands for that, and then the expert can be called back. Eh bien, nous nous en but um, à vous, to split up um, testimony de de um, le is not um, a good use of time. It creates problems with um, what matters are being discussed and what uh, is not being discussed. So I would ask that you not, certainly not postpone the date uh, for the expert abordé, testimony. Abordé, donc nous vous demandons de ne pas faire droit à cette requête. President, thank Le you very président. much, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor and all the parties who have submitted Et je remercie toutes les parties the observation on the subject. And the Des ruling will be issued as soon as possible before the hearing the testimony of 2 TCE 82. And now the chamber starts to hear 2 TCW 1002. And the hearing of uh, the witness testimony will be conducted in closed session since the witness has been interviewed in the ongoing case 003 and 04. And uh, this witness is within the category of uh, C witnesses. So the hearing of his or her testimony will be conducted in closed session in order to ensure the integrity of uh, the investigation l'intégrité de l'instruction en cours. After hearing the submissions of party and requests of the OCIJ, the Après chamber now decides to hear the, the witness in close session in accordance with the inter-memorandum. AV unit is instructed to disconnect the video and voice uh, from the public gallery and also the press room et la salle de presse du prétoire. And also the video feed for the ECCC. Court officer is instructed to bring in two TCW 1002 into the courtroom.